So, the final proposition in the abstract, you can see how dense these three sentences in the abstract are. The final proposition was that the resulting loss of compassion and understanding and comp complementary relationships amongst ourselves and others gives rise to the distress com and conflict that predisposes to addictions, obsessions, and compulsions. So here is the link with addiction. So would you like us to finish that? If we're alienated, we feel against the world. That's epitomized by Darwin's notion of survival of the fittest. Um, and, and actually, the, the many people don't realize the um, subtitle of Darwin's famous book, Origin of Natural, uh, Origin to a Species Through Natural Selection, or The Preservation of Favoured Races in the Struggle for Life. That is a very powerful and alienating view of nature and of the world. And essentially, it makes us feel we're against the world, we're up against it, we're struggling, we're being oppressed by the world, and so we're continually in conflict. It's all against all. It's the all. Whole season. There is a, a sense of the all against all. And out of that, and, and we also come to believe and in, in, in the idea of competition as the basis for enhancement and advancement. And competition, actually, what it does is it removes diversity. It is not, it, 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 it essentially eliminates the whole process of natural selection is as, as this portrayed in the most popular way, is a process of elimination of diversity. And the myth in our society is competition from most of us. Yes. It's a complete myth. It's a complete myth and a total paradox. And it's a corporation that actually promotes diversity. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so there's the link between um, a view of the world which is um, very different from uh, the way most people think about the world and linked to uh, the subject of addiction and distress uh, in society. Now, before we move on to um, what's the response, if you have that view of the world,